Richard Gleason again. I'm back for session number six for uh, speaking and pronunciation elementary vocabulary. So, session number six is all about shopping. Okay, I know you are very familiar with this topic. Okay, so for letter A, pronunciation drill, we're going to study the sounds of f and v and s. Okay, the th is uh, the sound of the th in unvoiced, like th. and the th sound with voice, <laughs> and the s sound like s. Okay, so that's for letter A. For letter B, the sounds in context of tongue twisters. We're going to have tongue twisters again to practice these target sounds. And let us see the difference between can and can. But I don't think that would be important, so we will skip that part. But we are going to talk about vocabulary, about shopping, and talking points about shopping as well. So let's get things started for the pronunciation drill. Let's begin with the unvoiced th sound. Example: thing. Thing, thing. Next word. Thought, thought, thought. Next word. Length, length, length. Next word. Cloth, cloth, cloth. Next word. Breath, breath, breath. Right here. So these are words with the unvoiced th sound. Next, we have the voice pH sound. This word, th, th, this, 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 these, 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 clothes, 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 bathe, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. Now, next, the set of words for the S sound. This begins with a simple one sound. S. So I'm going to read the word. Sink. 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 Next word. Sick. 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 Next. Sis. 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 Next. Close. 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 And base. Base, base. Now I'm gonna read the words side by side, okay? First word, thing. These, sick. Thought, these, sick. Length, clothes, sis. And breath, breathe, and base. So, these are our target sounds for today. Next, we're going to practice these same sounds in context, meaning tongue twisters. So, I'm going to read number one. I thought, I thought of thinking of thanking you. Let me repeat that. I thought, I thought of thinking of thanking you. Number two. Room 333 on the third floor rents for $33.33 every third Thursday. Let me repeat that. Number two, room 333 on the third floor rents for $33.33 every third Thursday. Okay? And number three now, father, mother, Sister, brother, hand in hand with one another. Let me repeat that. Father, mother, sister, brother, hand in hand with one another. Okay, next. Number four. Not these things here, but those things there. Again, not these things here, but those things there. Next, number five. Then 
this mother soothed and bathed the others, although the other didn't want to be together. Let's do that again. Number five, this time a little bit slow. Then this mother soothed and bathed the other, although the other didn't want to be together. Okay, number six. Three sick sisters sifting thistles through thick thieves sang silly songs. Again, number six. Three sick sisters sifting thistles thought thick thieves sang silly songs. Next. Now we're going to learn about the vocabulary part. Number one, the word is haggle. What does that mean? Haggle means to negotiate about the price. Example, my mother always haggles over the items in flea markets. Now, what about your mom? Is your mom good at haggling? Okay, number two, impulsive buyer. Someone who buys a product immediately without thinking it for a long time. Example, she's an impulsive buyer. If she likes something, she buys it. Sometimes she regrets about spending a lot. Okay, that's an impulsive buyer. Number three, thrifty. Very careful behavior about how one spends money. Again, thrifty. Very careful behavior about how one spends money. For example, my mother is thrifty. She makes her own kimchi instead of buying it. Alright? Next, number four, knockoff. An illegal copy of a brand new product. Okay, I'll repeat that. An illegal copy of a brand new product. Example, wow, that bag is Prada. How much did you pay for it? Actually, it was cheap. This is a knockoff. Okay, next. Number five, luxurious. What does that mean? It means very elegant and expensive. For example, your dress is very luxurious. I'm sure many guys will turn their heads on you. Okay, next. Number six, bargain shopper. A person who only goes shopping when there is a bargain or sale. Example, my aunt is a real bargain shopper. She can spend all day driving around the town for the prices. Next, number seven, brand new. It means a very new. For example, your shoes are so white and clean. They must be brand new. Okay, and number eight, shopaholic. A person who really loves shopping. For example, his girlfriend is a work, uh, is a shopaholic. Excuse me, I'll repeat that. His girlfriend is a shopaholic because she can't stand buying a lot of stuff. Okay, there you go. So we're done with the vocabulary. Now we're going to move on to this the discussion part of the lesson. Letter A. Okay, let's see. Hmm. How often do you go shopping? And where do you usually go? Now, I would say like, hmm, I go shopping rarely because I do not have time to go out. And I usually go to uh, Income Megamo to do a little bit of shopping. And that's the usual place I go. And let it be, what is the most expensive thing you've ever bought for yourself? Give your reasons why you bought it. Now, you can choose this question to answer and then record yourself and send the response over to the KOS website. And when we listen to it, we'll give you some feedback on how you can improve on your responses. Okay, there you go. So, here are another set of questions that you can you know, do at home for practice. I'm going to read them for you. Do you prefer shopping alone or with a companion? Or do you do people usually appreciate the things
things that you buy. And next, when you go shopping, what influences you more? Price, quality, layout of the shop, etc. And lastly, what is the best bargain you have ever bought? Now, like what I said a while ago, you can pick any questions here and send over your response to that KOS website. There you go. So we're done now. I'll see you again.